Hi guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Back to my worm tests. Um, I've grabbed these bread rolls out of the skip over the road at the bakery. Um, I haven't done a test on just plain bread, so I thought, good chance. Um, they obviously didn't sell at the bakery. End of the day, they threw them out, which is kind of a shame, but that's what happens these days. So I've got a spot in this, in this small half tank area that I've dug through. Um, it uh, has the odd worm in it. Uh, a lot of them are actually under this side where I've thrown a few extra scraps and some lettuce and everything. But we won't disturb them. Uh, this side I've dug through, got rid of some tree roots and various other things, leveled it off. Uh, it is a little dry, so I'll probably dampen it down. And what I'm going to do with these bread rolls is um, I'll split them into three, or in half, so that there's three in one sample and three in another and with these ones I'll just basically peel them open and put them face peel them in half pretty much and put them face down and let the worms get into them as they see fit with the other three I'm going to throw them through my garden mulcher and just turn them into more breadcrumbs and just see if that makes any sort of difference as to how quickly they're consumed there we go that's spread that lot out um, they're quite thin these ones were squashed a bit but I don't think it'll make any difference now, in my experience with bread, it will go mouldy fairly quickly and it will probably, it kind of, I guess there's other bacteria get into it and it kind of goes all gluggy and, and rather disgusting. But once it gets to that phase, then the bacteria are obviously agreeable to the worms and they come in and get really excited. So we'll leave those ones there. Let's go and mulch up the other half. Okay, that was easy work for the mulcher and it's um, fluffed it up very nicely. So we'll go and spread that in to the test bay. And there we go, we'll just level that out a little bit. The bread's actually very fresh, it must have been just yesterday's. But then again with the preservatives they put in them these days, who knows. So that'll give a good little test. Uh, I'll go and get the hose now and just give it a bit of a spray. Then I'll put the carpet mat back over the top and I'll keep it damp as per usual. We'll check it in a week and see what's going on. Okay, it's been 10 days since we put these breadcrumbs down. The carpet's dried out a little bit over a couple of the days, but we'll see what's going on. Okay, it's actually stuck to the back of the carpet. I think I did mention that it goes gluggy. Well, there's plenty of mould involved. And there's a couple of worms on top of that one. Okay, that's got that clear. Oh yeah, look at the mould happening there. So, we have lots of little slaters around the edge. In fact, they're all over the carpet. I'm not sure what the real name is. I've, is, I've always known them as slaters. So, as um, suggested, the bread has gone mouldy. Uh, I must make sure it stays damp, but I would imagine the mould process is possibly starting to decline and the worms are now starting to come in so i don't know if there's any into this section yet we'll have a look under the edge not yet look at that so they're probably working their way up from underneath but we'll put the mat back over we'll keep it damp and uh, we'll check it again in perhaps another 10 days and i would imagine the worms will be right into it by then now a further 10 days has passed let's see how the bread rolls are doing now i would expect the worms will be right into them this time Oh yeah, look at that. And that's wow, that's a real wow factor there. Um, what can we say about that? Well, they're getting into both samples, but there's certainly a larger population on the sample that we mulched up. In fact, really, that's just a layer of worms. Look at the beauties there. So, that sample is almost gone. Other than the thin layer at the top, you can see how thin it is. There's just a little thin layer of those bread rolls and more of the um, more of the quantity there is actually worms than bread. And these ones, well, they're into them for sure. There's a big ball of them there. But because these rolls weren't mulched up, they're still quite thick. 
Now there's actually quite a lot of bread there still. Quite a lot. Because those weren't actually overly thick. I tore them in half if you remember. There's still a bit of mould going on there. And that's the sort of mould that you see with salty items. And the worms certainly don't like the salt. Um, so perhaps by mulching them up. It allows other bacteria to get in and handle the salt. Or it leaches away quicker with the water. But when the bread's left in sort of thicker pieces it becomes more of an issue now I have no doubt that these will disappear and certainly through this section they've nearly all gone and there looks to be plenty of worms underneath yeah look at that they're working up from underneath but certainly I'd say it's pretty clear that the mulching method here really does help the worms get into them earlier and I'm sure they will disappear a lot quicker than what these ones will so Shall we come back and check it again, maybe in a week or two, maybe another 10 days, and then we'll finalise this video. And now for my final check on this bread roll experiment. It's been a further 10 days. Uh, we've got a lot of weeds growing on the carpet. We've had a fair bit of rain lately and the weather's still warmish, so I guess that's why that's happening. Now, let's have a peek. Yep, those ones are just about gone and lots of worms moved in. And the breadcrumbs actually looks like they've finished them let's have a bit of a scrape around lots of residual worms but no sign of any bread left and we've got little plants coming up in here as well so that's all gone fantastic and the ones that I tore in half just a few little bits left and those bits were around about where those patches of greenish mold were which I suspect was a higher salt area the rest of them have all the bread rolls have pretty much gone though, other than those little skerricks. <clears throat> and look at this. How fantastic is that? Bread turning into beautiful, rich garden soil. So, the conclusions from this experiment. Uh, yes, you can certainly feed bread to your worms. They love it. You do have to be aware of the salt content. Uh, like all things, in moderation is good. My worm farms are just open areas in the garden where the worms are free to move away if there are salt issues um, and larger quantities of bread certainly go quite sludgy and messy so if you've got a small worm bin little bits would be okay I certainly wouldn't overdo it but outside look I could put an entire loaf of bread here and it would go through the process of breaking down um, getting mouldy going sludgy and eventually the worms will deal with it so no problems with bread successful experiment and we did show that perhaps um, fluffing it up like crumbing it running it through a mulcher or a kitchen food processor or something is really going to help it probably because it lets a little bit more oxygen through um, the salt may leach out better it just seemed in this case it certainly disappeared much quicker very good thanks for watching look out for my next experiment bye